forgiving. Mm, most people say that forgiving is something you do for yourself, and that's not entirely true. And how do you know when you've truly forgiven someone? Well, it's easy to tell because when you see that person, when you hear that person's name, when you're in a situation that reminds you of that person, if you've truly forgiven them, it's not going to mean anything to you. You're not going to feel a pang in your stomach. You're not going to feel scared. You're not going to feel disappointed or frustrated. It'll just be like anybody else who's passing through your life in the moment. But forgiving isn't just something that you do, as most people say, for yourself. Forgiving is something you do for yourself, for that person, and for all people who will be impacted by your action. So here's a true meaning of forgiving. It's forgiving love. You see, if somebody does something or says something and you interpret it as being hurtful to you, that's your interpretation. You create your world from up here, well, from out here in your mind. Your mind, your thoughts, create the actions. Draw up from your subconscious mind what's out of your awareness, feelings that provoke certain reactions from you that let you feel hurt. So here's the way to truly forgive something, someone. Get them out of your system because they're eating you up otherwise. You write a list of every person who you feel has hurt you all your life long. Remember to forgive yourself. It's probably something in your life about which you feel guilty and it's been bothering you maybe for years and years. It's time to give yourself the love, the peace, the harmony, and the understanding. Because in every moment, each of us does the best that we can. And that's something to remember when you're looking at forgiving the other people. And then go back and look at that list and say, hmm, because they treated me this way, how did I have to change my behavior to get over it? Who did you have to become so that you could take a different action you've never taken before? In other words, they gifted you the chance, the opportunity to grow to be someone you never would have been otherwise. So it's not an accident that they came in your life. It's not a coincidence that they did a behavior that you interpreted as feeling hurtful. And by the way, Eleanor Roosevelt said it so beautifully. You can't keep a good man down without his permission. If you're feeling bad, that's on you. What you get to do is send love. It's forgiving love to that person because of who you get to grow to be. And even bigger picture than that, when you send that love, say a prayer and include that person being filled and surrounded with peace, with harmony, and with understanding. What's really cool when you do all of that, not only will you feel light, not only will it be true forgiveness, not only will you no longer feel bothered by that person, but your energy will shift so dramatically, you will have lost a whole behavior pattern that's not gonna be there anymore for you. 
Like, for instance, I was having a problem with somebody really important to me. And I kept thinking I forgave this person because I did the list and I did the sending love, but I didn't add that last piece of sending the prayer, filling and surrounding them with the peace, the harmony, and the understanding. But as soon as I did that, I didn't have to be with that person. We didn't have to have a talk. We didn't have to have a discussion. The person lives far away. But boy, our whole dynamic of our relationship changed completely. And it's just the way I wished it would be. And that's what happens when you change you. Everybody else in your world changes in how they behave toward you. It's not a conscious decision. It's just your energy shift. They feel it. They don't understand it. They won't even think about it. But they'll feel it. And everything will be different for you. Today's video is brought to you by Audible. You can get a free audiobook and a 30-day trial over at this link. And if you like it, you can keep getting more books every month and even more exciting stuff than that. In any case, whether or not you continue, you get to keep the book. I'm Allie Bierman. You can find me over at yourrelationshipintelligence.com.